Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to try on these Physicians Formula Velvet Formula Liquid Lipsticks. Absolutely love these. They're beautiful, beautiful colors and I'll swatch every one that I have, which is most of them. And if you're not a subscriber and would like to not miss a minute of all of my videos on skincare, anti-aging and makeup, please click the subscribe button. When you click that little bell, you'll get notification by email of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to this. And first I have to say that although the Physicians Formula Liquid Lipsticks are drugstore, I am starting out with a wonderful high-end lipstick on my mouth, and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's an iconic lipstick. I absolutely love this color. I'll show it to you close up and I will link it below. I am not really a nude lipstick lover, as you know. I've kind of gotten into the nudes very carefully and slowly, but I absolutely love this Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Lipstick, and I will link it below because I think it's absolutely gorgeous if you're not used to the nudes either. Okay, now I've gotten up close and personal, and I'm going to start swatching these liquid lipsticks for you. First, I will tell you that the Physicians Formula people say they're ultra hydrating, ultra pigmented, and ultra long lasting, and I have certainly found that to be the case because I've been wearing them all week. I absolutely love this formula. In fact, I feel it's like a little secret that I found because I really have not seen other YouTubers particularly singling these out, but I think they're absolutely wonderful. They're a long-lasting formula, and they're actually a little bit moisturizing. They're not like those really dry, dusty mattes. It's a little bit of a satin matte, which I love this formula. And the lipsticks are infused with avocado oil and vitamins A and E. Okay, let's get down to this. And to do that, let me take off the Charlotte Tilbury. Here we go. And the first color I'll be showing is this All Natural Nude, is what it's called. And I'll just go ahead and get my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. And it has a wonderful little doe foot applicator with a little bit of a divot in it, which really holds that product well. Here we go. Beautiful color. In fact, really, I think that is very much like that Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Let me get that color out and we'll take a look at it. Wow, that is a pretty darn good match for Pillow Talk. And I will tell you, this Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury was over $30. So I will be wearing this color. I love this. Now the next color is called Coral Minerals. And as the name implies, it has a little bit of coral in it. I'm just going to take that out there. There is that color, and what a beautiful spring-summer color. I love this one, and it feels like you could put it on with your turquoise and your white linen shirt and just be very, very fashionable, very current, and very summer. Now, the next one is another nude, and this one is called Bear With Me. I am really loving these nudes lately. I would say this one has a little more orange to it. And again, I think that is just the perfect summer color. Now the next one I love because it is one of my berry tones. In fact, it's called Berry Healthy. Let's go ahead and see how that one looks. This one has a little more of a bright berry tone, which is also great for summer. And I would say this could go into fall and winter. Now the next one is a little more subtle and it is called Dose of Rose. There we go. What a beautiful rose tone that is. And I hope you can't see the peelies on my face. I've started using the Obagi skincare system. And if you're interested in how that works out, I'm trying to reduce some pigmentation that I have, especially on my forehead. But if you'd like to follow me along in that journey, just subscribe, click that little bell, and you'll get an email notification of that and my future videos. Now, I will say the thing that I'm amazed about about these lip colors is normally I go through like eight or 10 lip colors in a given line, and I might find one that I sort of like. I love all of these. It's really amazing. Okay, now we're going to start getting into the darker tones, and this is Tulip Treatment. We'll see what that looks like. Whoa. Whoa. 
That is a very vivid neon tulip color. That's a great color. It's a reddish orange with a little bit of neon to it. If you're a little bit more on the edge, this might be a great one for you. Now the next one is a red tone and it is called Fight Free Reticles. <laughs> Fight Free Reticles, what a cute name. Boy, that is a vivid red. If you wear a red like this, it's so vivid that you should probably apply it and then go around with a nice red lip pencil to just even up that edge. Now the last one is a bright magenta color and they call it Magenta Formula. <laughs> I don't know if they sit around a conference room trying to figure out these strange names. And you know me, I like these bright fuchsia colors. Very exciting, zingy summer color. Well, that was a look at the Physician's Formula Velvet Liquid Lip Colors. Very, very comfortable formula, extremely long wearing. You can add a little gloss if you want it to be a little glossy, but it's not one of those dry, dusty mattes, even if you wear it on its own. It's an absolutely beautiful satin matte color. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been using these Power Thought cards from Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and see what she has in store for us to think about today. Okay, here's one. It's all stuck together. Ooh, I open new doors to life. I open new doors to life. I rejoice in what I have, and I know that fresh new experiences are always ahead. I greet the new with open arms. I trust life to be wonderful. I greet the new with open arms. I trust life to be wonderful. Oh my, I absolutely love this card. Because you know in our first half, life can kick us around a little bit as we're trying to get things figured out. And so we tend to not like new experiences. You know, I myself tend to like to do things by rote and go the same way to work and just think the same things, do the same things. But you know, in the second half, I've really resolved to open my heart and open my life to new experiences. Because ladies, we've got a half or a third of our years left and let's not live them just going through the motions. Let's live them and embracing new experiences, embracing change, and opening our hearts to whatever God and the universe has in store for us. Take care. See you next time.